I gotta try this. Or at least go snorkeling. Oh, check it out. Oh, and there's money in there. Boom, baby. What is going on today, guys? Today we are back with another reaction video and we are actually gonna be reacting to D Almighty. A lot of you guys probably know who he is. He's a huge treasure hunting channel and he does a lot of scuba diving. Before we go ahead and jump into this video today, guys, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Now this video that we're about to watch here today, guys, I have never seen before. So we're gonna be watching it here for the very first time. All right, guys, so we are gonna jump right into it here today. I'm gonna to just go ahead hit the play button and uh, we are gonna watch D Almighty go scuba diving or at least it looks like he's going scuba diving he's always got that vest on that's awesome pros Apple watches jewelry anything people may have lost while tubing and having a good time we're trying to find all that stuff at the bottom of the river if we come across trash we'll of course take it out of the river and throw it out of the way at the end of the video everything we find we'll be sure to give it back to the owners who lost it completely for free if we can locate them so stay tuned let's get underwater and hopefully find some great stuff all right guys so i'm gonna start here go down river and hopefully find some great stuff i have no idea what to expect because i've never been here before but i'm crossing my fingers hopefully we can find some pretty cool stuff I want to go scuba diving. I'm pretty sure you got to have a special license for that, but I'm sure it can't be too hard to get. Nope, oh, what do we got first? Fine. Some glasses, baby. Some G glasses. I just found some sunglasses and. Uh, what in the world? Look at how thick those things are. Look at, look at the lenses on those. Those are like a quarter inch thick. Look at that. Oh, oh, maybe I'm just seeing things, but that looks like those those lenses on those glasses are super thick, man. Come on, set up. Huh. <laughs> That's cool. I've never seen anything like that. Ooh, what's that? Like a shirt or something? Oh, we got. Oh, there it is. A Corona mask. I guarantee you that's probably what that is. That's the downside to being forced to wear all these masks. I mean, right there is your prime example. They just end up in the river like that. All right, so right down there looks like a waterfall. I can't tell because we've never been here before, so I'm not too sure what's coming up. The waterfall. We got my friends here. We're all going down the river. I haven't found anything crazy good. It was actually really deep here. Joe already flipped in. <laughs> but let's make it down river, and I'm going to dive underwater and hopefully find something here. There's a swinger over there. I'm going to check that for sure. It's actually pretty crystal clear picture down there. I mean, most water is, regardless, it's pretty hard to see down there, but it looks like this camera does pretty good. It's pretty high definition. The little minnow swimming by. Oh, I just seen something. Yeah, what was that right there? What is that? <laughs> some goggles. Got some broken goggles <laughs> and some trash. Ooh, he got deep down. There. See, that's cool. He even pulls the trash out. It's not like he's just looking for cool things like cell phones and watches and glasses. I mean, he actually pulls out the trash when he finds the trash. So, salute to that. <laughs> we got a sign. Do not enter. The water's trying to tell you something. Stay out. Oh. <laughs> I found the bottom of a shoe. A flippy floppy. <laughs> what is that, an e-cig? Some more g lasses. A shoe, a little kid's kid shoe. shoe. How does that happen? How does stuff oh, like that shot. end up in the water? <laughs> That's cool. I suppose if you're floating down the river, it falls off your foot. Duh. Duh. Oh, what is that? What do we got here? Is that a watch? Yup. Is that an Apple watch? It kind of looks like it. Oh, what? Goats. What in the world? <laughs> I just well, dude, this boat's just running across the rocks. Story. What is going on here? I don't know if it's going to work, 
but that's freaking cool. I've never found an apple, actually. Where the heck is he that he's got goats running around yeah. like that? <laughs> what in the world? How you doing? How you doing, Mr. Goat? How you doing? Hold Mr. Up, hold goat? Up, hold up. Gonna feed him a little yeah, snack or Peanut butter crackers. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hold up. Wait, back up. You already have yeah, open, open. Oh, he's dropping it. Oh, oh, oh. He can't even get it. No. Just <laughs> wild goats. You think he's a big one right here? That's kind of crazy. Hey, hey. Yeah, you don't see here. nothing like that around where I live. Just what? wild goats running what? around. So, this was the Apple Watch I found over here at Goat The Island. Apple Watch, it's baby. A series 3. It's super nice. moldy. It doesn't turn on. But they are pretty waterproof, so. You know, I've always heard like the old put your wet electronics in rice myth, if that's what you want to call it. I don't know if it's actually a myth. Does that actually work? I've done it before and it it works, but is the rice actually doing anything or is it just uh, like a myth? I don't know. I'm going to dry it out and hopefully it turns on and hopefully we can find the owner. Thank you, bud. I appreciate it. And that's cool too. When he when he when he finds stuff like that, he tries to return it to the owner. You know, if he can, if he can get it powered back on. And I mean, that's pretty cool. Made it this far. Drop a thumbs up if you're enjoying the adventure. With that said, let's get back underwater and hopefully find some more good stuff to share with you guys. We are enjoying the adventure. This is like an old bridge right here. This is awesome. <laughs> What do we got? <laughs> I almost hit the stip. I gotta try this. Or at least go snorkeling. Oh, check it out. Oh, and there's money in there too. No way. Cell phone with some money in there. Look at that. I just found an iPhone 11 and some money. <laughs> That's nice awesome. find. That's a nice find right there. And because the phone's inside the little plastic baggie like that, I bet you it still works. Oh. Dude, it's been down here for a minute. There's some mold on it. <laughs> That's so cool. That's crazy. Hopefully it turns on so we can give it back to the people. That would be amazing. Here's a moment of truth. I have no idea if there's water inside here. I, bet I don't it think turns so because on. it looks pretty sandwiched in there with the money. We're going to open it up. See if it's dry and see if it turns on. So here we go. So it definitely dun, dun. looks dry. Drum roll. I'm gonna leave the money in there. I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna hit the button. Uh oh. <laughs> it might just be dead. So we're right, gonna do it's probably dead. It it's probably been we'll down there for so long. Turns on back at the hotel. Uh oh. Not only he lost his phone, but he lost some money. Let's see, he lost 20... The oh, 20 dollar bucks. bill, y'all. So, if I can find the owner, we'll be sure to get the money back to him his phone. So we're at a place called Smock, and I'm gonna end the video here, but let me show you our best things that we found today. So, we found th two Apple Watches and an iPhone 11 two? with some money I must inside. I'm not too sure if any of other stuff's gonna work anymore, but if they what do, the heck? we'll be sure to give it back to the owners. This Apple Watch, I didn't find. It was actually founded by a guy named Thomas, who owns this oh, business right here. Oh, I was gonna right say. And he That's why somebody else found the the second Apple Watch. I was gonna say, I thought I missed a part of the video or something, but I wonder if that, I bet you that iPhone turns on as soon as he plugs that thing into the wall, I bet you it turns back on. He gave us special treatment today. He gave us some tubes to go down the river and we wouldn't be able to find those cool stuff without him. So I'm gonna put a link to his business in the description below. If you wanna come tube it on this exact same river that we did, you can do that through him. But I guess my next step is to figure out if all this dries up and we'll try our best to give this back to the owners. If you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new. I'll see you guys on my next adventure. Thank you so much for watching. Nice. That was pretty cool, guys. I've never been scuba diving. I I think I've only even been snorkeling like once or twice, and I was never looking for cool things like that. So after watching this video, it like really makes me want to at least go try snorkeling. So that is going to wrap it up for this video here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up button for me, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. Make sure to stay tuned, and I will catch you on the next one.